I just finished installing the new lights in my shop ceiling and I had a few of the shorter ones left over. So I figured what I could do with those is make a new light for my camera gantry. Here's the old one and it really worked well. The only problem I had with it was that I would forget to charge the battery that it runs off of. So to solve that, I'm gonna make this new light with two of the 24 inch strips. They're 12 watts each. And it takes around 40 volts to run them. So I'm gonna gang two of my cordless tool batteries together in series to give me that voltage output. And even though I have two old tools that are broken that I could strip the connectors out of, I think I'd rather just make one from scratch. So the first thing I need to do is measure the slots on the battery where they connect with the base of the drill and lock in and replicate that in a piece of wood. And then these don't have to be very long. They just need to lock the battery to the plate. So I'm gonna cut them to length on the miter saw. So I need four of those in total, and I'm gonna use a piece of half inch plywood to make the base plate. And here I'm marking out for the slot that the battery will latch into. And I'm just gonna cut that on the table saw, making a series of passes until it's wide enough. And now putting the battery in place, I can see that it's actually thicker at the back. So I'm gonna remove a little bit of the material just past that slot to clear that part of the battery, and that'll allow it to sit flat. Next, I can start fastening those four clips that I made, and these are gonna be glued on, and I'm just gonna drive in some one-inch pins to clamp them while the glue sets, and then when they're all put on, I can trim the excess plywood off the end, even though that's not strictly necessary, but if you're gonna do it, it might as well look good. With the clips installed on the base plate, I can start working on the terminals, and to properly space those, I need to measure the battery again, and here I can see it's 7 sixteenths, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece of wood to act as a spacer and that'll locate the terminals in exactly the right place. I'm going to use a piece of copper pipe that I had for the terminal. I'm just going to split it down the middle with the angle grinder. And then I'm gonna cut it in four pieces and I'm gonna flatten those out before I cut them and shape them to what I need for this, which is not very difficult. These don't have to be perfect. And now that I have all the terminals made, I can start fastening to the base plate and that's where that spacer comes in. I'm just gonna put that in so it's up against the side and use that to hold the terminal while I mark the hole for the screw and then drill that out and drive in a number four screw. After I make sure that the terminals are in exactly the right place, I'll take these screws out again and add some glue underneath to help secure them and keep them from moving. Next, I need to do the wiring for this and I'm just gonna use the wires that came with the fixture and solder those directly to the terminals that I made. And with that done, I can slip in the two batteries and see if it actually works. I'm gonna mount this new light in exactly the same way as the original that's up there now. So I need to take that down so I can get that clip that's on the back that acts as kind of a quick release for this thing. And then I can fasten it onto the back of the steel stud with a couple of screws. So I'm using two of the 12 watt strips for this. It gives me a, a total of 24 watts, which is equivalent to one of the four foot fixtures that I have in the ceiling. Except this time I'm putting two in the same stud. And this time I'm gonna use the double-sided tape that's on the back of these strips to hold these in place because I can only screw it down on one end. Next I can put the end caps on and I made these to match the ones that are in the ceiling for no particular reason other than I already had a pattern to cut them out with. 
and these are installed in exactly the same way as I did in the ceiling with just two screws on the back. I also need a switch for this, but unlike the last time, I'm not going to put it on the light itself. I'm going to put it on the battery pack. Then all I need to do is mount the battery pack up on the camera gantry with a couple of wood screws. And then put in the batteries and turn it on and see how it looks. Anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't seen it yet, there's a link in the description to the video where I changed the lights in my ceiling over to these LED ones.